This was not how I wanted to start all this. Spiders. <laughs> First a raptor, then spiders, then... Eh. Well, I guess that's how this video is starting. Hey guys, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. My name is Wolfart, and we're outside the cave that we found over here by all the beavers. So, we're here. We've got Bucktooth because... We're going to be doing a little bit of cave diving today. And these two are going to go into Bucktooth because he's here to repair our armor in case we encounter Arthroflora. And I know we are going to because they are plentiful. And we may have to do a bit of a speedy up bit in fighting right here at the entrance to the cave. Because if we take a look, there is a nightmare at the entrance to the cave. Look through our spyglass. So we've got, starting from this tree, Arthroplura. Arthroplura. Snake, 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 snake. Scorpion, another Arthroplura. There's probably about, I don't know, 15 things that want to kill me right here. <laughs> and a lot of them are over 100. So... Yeah, yeah, this might be a little interesting. I decided to bring Bucktooth along. Bucktooth has a lot of health. This is out a decent amount of damage. You can see the pile right there. This is dishes out a decent amount of damage and doubles as a smithy to repair our armor. So let me go ahead. We're gonna dump all this chitin and hide into his inventory. And now we can repair our armor. But, ooh, who dropped what? It's the raptor, isn't it? Yeah, junk. Oh, also, I didn't know the wolves could do this. I didn't know you could make the wolf howl. Let's see if we can kill off some of this stuff right here. There is so much stuff. There's like four Arthur <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> and there goes our armor right there. Already at the start. There's so much stuff. Can't even all attack us at once. All right, Bucktooth, let's get in here and kill everything. So we have no armor. <laughs> we will have to stop periodically to make sure we heal up Bucktooth. And I'll probably mean me stopping walking away for a little while. By the way, this is a 150 Arthur Plura on my right and behind me now. Which is why we're about to die. Heal! Kill the dang snake! Whew! Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> okay, we already have to repair our armor and we're only four minutes in. <laughs> Alright, I need to check Bucktooth's health because that was an insane battle. You're gonna be on your own for a second. You can go collect everything. Bucktooth, what is your health like? Wow, you were way down. Up your melee damage a bit. Uh, what do you got? I'll take those, and I don't really care about the rest. I was gonna say, where are you going? That was the 150 Earth or Plura. Nothing I need. 
135 Titanoboa. I debated taming that Arthroplora, but I don't have bug repellent right now. Take that. Nothing. Mmm, you're boring. You're the same as the one I have. Nothing. Take those. Yeah, a lot of junk around here. Go ahead. I'm gonna heal him up, get my armor repaired, and we'll be her right back. Okay, we're back. I did just kill a scorpion and a couple spiders because I wanted to see about what all's in here. So, I want to see these Arthroplura are the only problems we have. 150, a 55, a 15, a 5, and a 110. Oh, that 110. These first two should be no problem. Bucktooth's going to stay here. He's on passive right now. I'm probably going to... Yeah, I'll leave him on passive for now. I can always change him to neutral. I can draw these two. There we go. They're about to destroy my armor again. There it goes. That's expected. Now we're just going to annihilate everything here. Those guys are always pretty easy. You're a low-level Arthroplora. These guys are easy to... Uh, the wolf is easy to heal. So that I'm not worried about. We got some more bags to check out. A lot of junk. 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 Get a lot of that. I almost feel like just leaving our armor on Bucktooth and putting it on if we need it. It also almost seems like a better option. And my plan is to like kind of go through, clear out a little bit of space, and then bring Bucktooth forward every once in a while. So that's probably where we're going to go with. What level are you? Level 10. You are tameable. But you're about to die. If you're in the middle of the battle. Oh my gosh, so many! Alright, we gotta get rid of this 110. At least get down to just the 110. That Arthur Plora is so damn powerful. And now we can't even move because we got so much meat on us. <laughs> and chitin. I don't need this prime meat. Serves us no purpose. Do more damage. What do we got in here? Nothing. Come on, Buck Tooth. You can come in now. Got one scorpion to take care of, and that's it. What the hell are you guys doing hiding in the wall? Seriously, this game is hiding stuff now. Fight back. I'm taking on the big stuff right now. No, yeah, don't. <laughs> Nobody gets near my buck tooth. Holy crap, there's so much stuff in this game. We can't even get past the main entrance. Jeez. Now there's more bags. Jeez. 
Jeez. Uh, we already have that one. Ooh, we got a level. We haven't pup, pumped fortitude at all. Hmm. We're gonna pump... Melee damage. I think we just unlocked some more stuff, too. Because we hit level 70. What did we just unlock? Oh, we just unlocked this stuff. Industrial grinder we had. So I already know what we're going to use it for. I want to get that. I also want to get... Where's it at? I don't see it. I swear the damn thing hides from me. This thing like hides from me. There it is. So we need the shotgun. Shotgun's up here. Gotta get that. So now we can't even afford it. Ah, right, whatever. Ooh, you have an arrow. I want the arrow. That stuff's junk. We already have the energy, energy brew one. There's another bag. I'll take that. Everything else in here is junk. This bag. Do we already look at this one? There's a bow. I don't need the bow, though. Uh, let's give you some more health. And heal you up. If we have any more really big battles or anything like that, I'll bring you guys back. Or if there's really anything interesting that I find in this cave, because I feel like we're going to be going ways. And we're not going to make it very far at this rate. This may be a multi-day thing, too. I think we might have a large battle on our hands. <laughs> so... Looking down here, see a ton of spiders and scorpions right there. There's a spider in the ground right here, two a spider there, scorpion high level there. There's a three arthroflora over there, and there's a one o five arthroflora right here in the middle. Yeah, this is a hell of a cave. You a golden thing. You look like a golden dung beetle. I'll let you live because you ain't bothering me. So, Bucktooth over here has done pretty good at keeping up and keeping healthy. I might bring him in on this one. Just because of how much there is. And because of the high levels. Because this stuff's going to hurt. All right, the floor is the only one I really have a problem with. The other stuff I can keep away. But the Arthur Plura doesn't get any knockback. I don't know why they don't. Everything else does. Die. <laughs> I don't know where this, this cave leads, though. There's supposed to be something on this map that's supposed to be of major interest. Go ahead and drop these, this and this. Hi! You wanna... <laughs> you might wanna level up before you come after me. I'm going to heal up, and then we're con going to continue. Jeez. I didn't even have to use Bulk Tooth in that fight. I was actually surprised at how well Bulk Tooth is doing in here. We have too much health. 
Then again, we're taking too much damage. Is there a way to get the wolf armor? Because <laughs> he needs some armor. I would have brought a T-Rex in here, but we don't have a T-Rex. There is a 145 roaming around not too far from the base. That was one of my reasons I wanted to build a wall for him. For the base was because, uh, yeah, there's a really high level T-Rex roaming around. Let's play with the Arthroplora. Because those two are stuck on something. I'm not worried about these guys. They're low level. They're <laughs> combined. Level 50. I think this is one of the bigger guys. Level 20. Yeah, level 20. Still following me, Bucktooth? Good boy. Oh, hi. You want to play now? Instead of standing there and staring at the wall? And the wolf, like one of the best things that's ever happened to us. Ooh, that's a purple scorpion. I think it's too low of level though. Yeah, level 15. What are you doing over there? Oh, now you have our. Now I have your attention. Jeez, we're taking a lot of damage from that. Uh, let's dump this stuff. We don't need any of it. Hmm, let's pump more melee damage. I want to get his melee damage up to like 600. Is there anything out this way? I don't think so. I'm also trying to figure out where that uh, hole from that other cave goes to. No, don't go off there. Let's go check out this direction real quick. Really? You bring more? A couple spiders, a couple snakes, not too much. Defend yourself, Bucktooth! I can't always protect you. Against this guy I do, though. You can't fight off an Arthropora. Not saying you're weak, but yeah, <laughs> you can't fight an Arthroplora. Oh god, what is this way? There's a lot of stuff. I think it's just some crystal. Yeah, because it looks like it just stops. Let's go find out. Ooh, there's a lot of Arthroplora. Hopefully, none of them are high level. Stay. 55, 20, and they're both dead, and 5. Oh, that was nice. That didn't take too long. Yeah, I think this part just stops. There's a lot of metal and crystal over here, and another dung beetle. Okay. I'm going to heal up. We're going to delve a little bit deeper into this cave. See how far we can get. There's an artifact drop. Or something. At least something comes out of this cave. <laughs> it was a good idea coming in here. Still haven't seen that spot where we tried to come down with Petrie. I think it's right there. Like right above the mushroom. See if we can get to this artifact. Holy cow. Seriously, why is there stuff coming out of the walls? Not their flora, but... <laughs> Jeez, these battles. The battles are so freaking huge. Let me just annihilate everything. It's only level 15. Come on, buck two. Hey! Get 
your butt back up here. I'm gonna go rescue Bucktooth. Where did Bucktooth go? I think Bucktooth's about to die because it got lost somewhere. Bucktooth, where are you? You're stuck behind a rock. So many things. <laughs> we can't even move. Like, I have to kill some stuff. Fuck! Well. God damn it! We can't even move because we have so much stuff on us that it starts killing us. Run! Run away! Well, there's so many things down here, it's ridiculous, and our freaking beaver is stupid as shit. Where's our beaver at? I want our saddle back at least. Okay, I'm damn near killed 200 things trying to get to this dang thing. I got the stuff off of our Castoroides or Bucktooth. He has earned a gravestone. So when we get back to base, we're building him a gravestone. What is in here? You are not worth all that. But, these Arthropora have been killing me instead of killing them. They're hurting our dinos, so we need to retreat. Oh, 25. But you still dish out a huge amount of damage to me because I don't have armor. Eh. Still never saw that hole that we come through with the bird. There's some water over there, so I don't know what's over there. I wonder if I can look up what dino does more damage. We might come back in here with a T-Rex. <laughs> Just because, uh... Holy crap, the caves on this map, man. On this map, man. These caves are ridiculous. Oh, and... Uh, ah, I just bit my tongue. And Steph is already respawning behind us. Either that or it's little things that we missed that were hiding in the walls. can't believe the game's doing that. Things should not be inside the walls. Oh god, I hope this outside area didn't respawn. No, please no. That was like 10 Arthropleura that we had to fight. Okay, good. It didn't respawn. Alright, we're retreating back to base. Holy crap. Was that one hell of a cave? I actually have a little bit of footage from another cave I tried to do before this, and I was just like, yeah, nope. Because <laughs> we were seeing stuff that was like level 240, level 210. We were fighting Onyx Galore. And oh my gosh, were we getting annihilated so fast. I said, screw that, and we're coming to this cave. But yeah, I think we need to go get ourselves a good level T-Rex before we can do that. So... I think we're gonna go do that. I don't know how much we have left. How much time we have left. Let me go find that out and I'll decide whether we're gonna end it or whether we're going to continue on and try to find ourselves a good level T-Rex. Which I will then tame up until before next time. Okay guys, so we've got a little bit of time left today. I think what I'm actually going to do is we're going to test out something. Next time we're going to go get a new a T-Rex. So I'm making up some ammo, making up darts, making up stuff. I'm working, I'm going through a lot of gunpowder. And you can see I made up some advanced bullets. I've got a pistol on me. We've got the long neck rifle. I'm going to grab that bullet actually. That. I'm going to grab... Just one. 
and we're gonna test some stuff. Uh, okay, how many metal do you guys have yet? Okay, right. so I built a training dummy. It's out there. So we're gonna go through, and we're gonna check how many, how much damage everybody does. So the guys that we actually take out and use. So Crunch by the Raptor, Featherbeak, and probably Petri and Petra. So let's see what kind of damage they do. Raptor, come here. So, here's our thing. <laughs> Up your health, your melee damage. Here's our training dummy. See how much damage you do. 576 per hit. Eh, not bad. What about Featherbeak? Okay, I don't know why the game has been super laggy today. How much do you do? 467. Mm, it's not bad at all. Alright, and... Crunch Bite? How much do you do? <laughs> 1,256. Nice! So let's check Petrie and Petra. And it does show you damage per second as well. I'm not worried about that. Let's try Petrie first. By the way, they both have saddles now. I give them both saddles. Uh, you need some health, man. You really need some health. Wow, lag. So regular attack is 206. Spiral attack, 572. Now for Petra. If we can park Petri, right? There you go. So this is Petri and Petra's perch. If I can get on the frickin' roof, I can get around Petri. Alright, regular attack. 199. Spiral is 554. So these two are actually really close. But Petra's got quite a bit more health. <laughs> So those two are pretty close. Which... Go ahead and jump down. Now we're going to check out our stuff. So we've got our pike, which I painted everything. So everything's all bluish. Blue and black. So our pike. Or right, let's see. How much do we do with our fists? <laughs> Five. Yeah. The pike. Fifty-seven. Now, do I have any regular arrows on me? I do not. Let me grab a regular arrow. I have a thousand of them right now, I think. There we go. One regular arrow. I can get it back if I want, but I don't really care. So this is actually a journeyman crossbow. Let's see. Make sure it's the right one. Keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, yeah, it's the right one. Zero. That really did zero. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. So, we're going to try one simple rifle bullet. Zero. Is this thing like broken? So... What? Do you like not work with these? Did the game, like, break or something? I 
I feel like the game broke, because I know this pistol actually does a nice amount of damage. I know there's a dialer right out here to test it on. Let me out the dang door. Then you can close. You, what level are you? 90? Eight shots to kill a Dilo. And I'm pretty sure we missed one or two of them. And that's a level 90 Dilo. Hi. Okay, seven to kill a Dilo. I think the the training dummy is just a little bit broken at the moment. I know they just launched a whole expansion pack and that one's fun. I might start a second series with that one to go alongside this one. Controls and stuff are not working right lately. I don't know if it's my keyboard or if it's the game not working properly. Either way, it's getting really annoying. Oh well. We've tested out our new pistol. I kind of like it. Too bad I can't paint the silencer. Ooh, actually I might be able to. I wonder. I wonder if I can paint it like that. I do also want to make the shotgun. And I'm also going to learn... We're going to look up at how to make the thingy, the mind wipe tonic, next time as well. Because we're getting to that point where we don't have any Ingram points. And we've got a lot of low level stuff that we don't need anymore. Like... All the building stuff, all the foundations and walls. I don't need those anymore. The slingshot storage box. I don't need any of that, really. Uh, the saddles that I've already made, I'm just going to not learn them. Hmm. Oh, I I still need the walls. i got to finish building the wall. See, what else can we not learn? The greenhouse stuff. We already have that thing finished. The gates, the feeding trough, I don't exactly need another one of. If I do, I can make another one before I get rid of it. Hmm. Preserving bin. The smithy. I gotta go do the, another beaver and that thing goes with me. Uh, Let's see. The sickle. We have one. We never made this beer barrel. The Fabricator we can probably unlearn. These two we can unlearn. This guy we can unlearn. We only need the one. And then we can start learning actually some of the stuff that's down here. It's like the Quet Saddle, the Rex Saddle, the Spino. More of the bullets, more of the attachments for the guns, the spray painter. Oh my gosh, that would be so nice to have. And then we can paint our dinos nice and quick. There's a shotgun. We need the canteen, because that thing carries a lot of water in it. We can get a flak armor. We can get... Uh, something else in here I needed. The Gilly stuff, maybe? A Sarko. We're going to need to get one of those because he can help with uh, underwater stuff. Hmm. <laughs> get a fireplace. Ooh, actually. Fireplace sounds like a good thing to have. And it can go like right here. Maybe against... No. Gotta go right here. That would look 
cool right there. I can put like a table and a couple of chairs up here. Give it an interesting look. By the way, I not, I ever rebuilt it, but that I had a Bronto that came in and attacked the base. Everybody killed it. And yeah. He like damaged half the walls. I spent like an hour going around making sure everything was all repaired. And then I finally realized he destroyed my chair. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be it for this time, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button below. If not, let me know if you don't like in the comments. And next time, we're going to go get ourselves a T-Rex that we can take down there into that cave to see how far we can get. So I will see you guys next time. Holy crap. This thing almost killed me before I got it down. Yeah, better be. Where, brother, big...